Hello and welcome to another episode of Tires Tech. Um, today is Nitrux, Nitrux, uh, Linux based on Ubuntu 17.10 which is uh, an under development release apparently using KDE Plasma 5 and QT. Um, it was a bit of a nightmare installing this. Uh, I tried to do it first hand on a virtual box and just weren't having it. I mean it would load but then the screen would glitch out when you load programs they wouldn't display properly or anything so I then just burnt onto a USB, booted it off there and it all booted fine but the internet wouldn't do anything with the internet drivers for the Wi-Fi that I use so I couldn't really do anything because there was no video recording software on there. So I've got that little bricks out and just burn it onto there and then run that through my capture card on the PC. So let's see how it goes. Um, that's not the time, I just haven't set the time zone yet. Okay. Switching the USBs over. Oh no, still default password is there. Uh, Nitrox, the same as the name. Okay. Change the rules. So it's quite a sort of a minimalist sort of setup, I'd say. So top right, you've got your clock notifications comes with KDE to connect so you can connect your Android phone to that and have notifications synced um, oh it's found networks on this one I won't use any for now we'll s do that a bit later um, so yeah you can launch your applications from here that was um, it wasn't like a proper installer it was just a system back ISO um, we're just running it live at the minute but um, just pop open that. And then you can um, do a system install with your own username, password, and whatever else. Okay, so let's have a look what programs does it come It doesn't come with a lot because it's a gig, but that's because I reckon because it's a system back thing, it tends to take up quite a lot. So you try it not to install too much so it keeps the file size of the um, ISO small um, VLC media player Dolphin for your file browsing Babe I'm not quite sure what that is Arc is guard and management Quipzilla is your web browser I think yeah so that's just your web browser I'll leave that down for a moment Let's have a look at the info center. So Nitrux 1.0 KDE Plasma version 5.10.90. So if, if you, do they have software management on you? What's this? NX software. So it looks like it's quite a stripped down. Um, software center let me connect to a, see it didn't let me actually connect to any wi-fi's on the um other pc so see how we go with this one there we go this one's well it just obviously didn't like the um it's a really old like Belkin USB stick from a long time ago. So let's just search for OBS. Is it snaps? Is it for snap packages? Yeah, and stuff. Hmm, I'm going to guess because it's based off Ubuntu, you could probably just use apt get. Oh, I've done a password wrong. 
Yeah, so that all works fine. Yeah, no problem with that, right? So let's have a little general look around. So you've got your little dock at the bottom here. I don't know if you can change the way that looks. I don't know what is that latte or something. Let me have a look. So go into system settings. If it loads up. There we go. Workspace theme locations. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look at the themes quickly. No? No, that's probably because it's got term there. Yeah, there we go. So it comes with the um, ones you'd expect to find the most KDE, like Kubuntu and whatever else. Quite like the Nomad, it's quite a simple look. It's a Nomad Dark, let's try that. That's more my style, that one. Um, how do we change the dock? I don't know what dock it's using. Well, oh, icons have gone a bit funny there. Let's change it back. I don't like the fact that the icons have just disappeared. Don't forget this is a live install. I'm not gonna... I mean a live USB, sorry. I'll just leave it like that for now. So yeah, we got... I don't quite like the wallpaper, but you know, it's not too hard to change. The app store seems a bit bare at the moment. I think when it gets properly sort of all ironed out and it's got a proper installer as opposed to using system back, that would be good. I don't know if you can use the Ubuntu installer or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, OBS installed fine through the software send, uh, terminal. Ah, Latte, I think that's the dock. Let's have a quick look at that before we s shut off. I don't know if that's going to load for us. No. So you got Kate for your little text editor. So Quipzilla uses dot dot go default for search. Yeah, that all works fine. I've never really used Quips in there. Mm, so it looks like, what's it based on? Let me have a look. Yeah, WebKit. At Mozilla. Alright. As it is at the moment, I think it's nice. I like the way it looks and feels. I think it needs a bit more of a bit more time spent on it at the moment could be good down the line I'm sure if this is all installed properly we could have messed around with the um, dock a bit more and things like that I installed some different icons uh, let's just check what sort of resource system resources it uses Installing HTOP quickly. 
There we go, let's have a look. So it's using 1. I think that's 0, 06 gig out of 8. No sort of memory because it's a live USB and CP utilization seems okay. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, it could be a bit better because it doesn't seem like a whole lot's going on. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Oh.